Hey guys, in this video we will be explaining you about surface plasmon resonance biodetectors or SPR biodetectors. Surface plasmon resonance or SPR is the resonant oscillation of conduction electrons at the interface between a negative and positive permittivity material stimulated by incident light. The resonant condition is established when the frequency of incident photons matches the natural frequency of surface electrons oscillating against the restoring force of positive nuclei. To understand SPR biodetectors, we will first see the detection scheme in SPR instruments. They use a very simple detection scheme. In this setup, a light source passes through a prism, reflects off the backside of the sensor chip surface and goes into a detector. At a certain incident angle, known as the resonance angle, light is absorbed by the electrons in the metal sensor chip causing them to resonate. These resonating electrons are also known as surface plasmons. This results in intensity loss in reflected beam which appears as dark band and can be seen as dip in SPR reflection. Intensity curve. Shape and location of SPR dip can then be used to convey information about the sensor surface. Now let us see the working of SPR biodetectors. These sensors contain a gold film which is thinner than many viruses. They perform biology on one side and physics on other side of this film. On the biology side, biomolecules immobilized on surface of gold film act as molecular probe. When target molecule react with immobilized probe, this affects optical properties. So we observe a shift in SPR curve which we discussed before. Using this, we can extract the information about sensor surface. Time dependent binding interaction between molecules is a very important aspect of these sensors. By monitoring the change in SPR response over time, researchers can study the kinetics of molecular binding events. First consider the case in which analyte with very low affinity to immobilized ligand on the sensor surface is introduced and therefore negligible binding interaction is observed. However, when analyte with high affinity to ligand is introduced into the system, the binding event are more rapidly observed. Initially, there are many binding sites available, resulting in a rapid increase in SPR response that occurs as analyte begins to bind to ligand. While sample is continuously delivered to sensor surface, analyte molecule continue to bind and number of binding sites decrease corresponding to decrease in binding rate. As the SPR response levels off, the system approaches equilibrium and number of molecules binding and unbinding become equal. When no more analyte is introduced to system, the molecule will continue to unbind resulting in decrease in SPR response. The association constant Ka can be extracted from binding response and likewise dissociation constant KD can also be extracted from unbinding response. Now let us look at applications of SPR biodetectors and SPR technology. SPR biodetectors have replaced many detection techniques. They can do immediate tests on bovine growth hormone in milk, perform DNA and RNA assay and test for presence of viruses. There are numerous applications of SPR technology also. They are used in medical diagnostics, biotechnology, pharmaceutical development etc. Surface plasmon resonance not only find application in biotechnology but are also used in security, environmental protection, food safety, etc. They play a very important role in many areas. Thank you guys for watching our video. Hope you like it.